Hey guys, Josh Wolford here back with another video for you today and we're gonna talk about day trading. This whole concept of making money by sitting in front of your computer and placing trades in different markets like stocks or commodities or futures or options, these sorts of things. But hey guys, if you enjoy videos like this and you wanna learn about real estate and investing and creating wealth, please hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, turn on those post notifications and you'll get more videos like this every single week. But anyways guys, day trading. You've probably all seen the ads, you've seen people selling the course, talking all about how they make money on their own terms from wherever they want and make all this cash by day trading in the investment markets. You've seen ads probably kind of like this. Hey punk, what are you doing? Working your 40 hours a week, slaving away flipping burgers, thinking you can make money? Look at me, I got a Rolex. I'm talking 8,000% returns. I'm talking stocks, I'm talking equities, I'm talking futures. You wanna make some real money? Join my trading program for 8,000% returns guaranteed every week. Yep, those ads. Now, <laughs> for me, I personally bit on those ads as a young person. When I was 15, 16, I saw the day trading programs, I saw how lucrative it could be, I could be driving a Lamborghini, I could be out on a yacht, I would be doing my thing, working from the boat, living the luxurious lifestyle, and it was all just by day trading in the markets. What a fascinating concept. Well, it was a very rude awakening. You know, when I actually started to take my career seriously, you know, I actually had been day trading. I was trying to do this stuff. I was trying to go into the markets and place trades daily and weekly to see if I could make money. Now, when you're in a bull market, when the market is doing nothing but going up, it's actually not that hard to make money. It's very easy to get lucky. And when I started trading, that's exactly the position I was in. So I thought I was all that. I thought I was Warren Buffett. I thought I was the best investor ever because my returns were high and they were higher than the average return that I had read about. So when I went to different investment firms as a young person and I walked in the doors to try to find mentors, to try to create connections, I walked into these offices of these high performing wealth managers and I talked to them about how I was a trader and how I was using commodities and foreign exchange and gold and oil and trading stocks based on charts and technical patterns and all these things. And they essentially laughed me out of their boardrooms. They thought it was an absolute cheap joke. And a lot of them were really nice about it. They kind of chuckled to themselves and said, so like, I think they were almost trying to play a game with me. They said, oh great, so like, what are you trying to get? Like 4% a month, 5% a month? And I said, yeah, yeah, around there. Try to get 5% a month, you know, compound 60, 100% a year, yeah. And they were just kind of almost baiting me into saying ridiculous things. It was really funny and I deserved it because at the end of the day, no really professional wealth manager, investment manager, thinks that day trading is for whatever reason a productive activity at all. And I remember one specific mentor, person I went to try to build a relationship with, said, you know what, just like you, Josh, you know, a couple of years ago, I was trading options. I actually took a lapse in my career to see if I could trade options. I said, oh, that's so cool, how did it go? You're a successful guy, how did that go for you? And he said, well, I'm back here, aren't I? Like, it worked when it worked, and when it didn't work, it was horrible. And this is the thing that you need to understand about day trading. First of all, day trading is this concept of buying and selling different investments over a one day time frame. And you know, it can get convoluted because some people who hold for a week might be considered day traders, but anyways. The whole idea is you're holding investments for such a short period of time and you are trying to take advantage of these micro movements. Now, the thing about this is that you are going to have periods where you're winning, where you know it's almost like being at the poker table or the blackjack table and the table is hot. For a while, you're gonna see your account going up and up and up and up. And then other times you're gonna see what's called drawdowns where the account comes down and down and down and all you're doing is losing on every position. This happens, right? See, the number one thing with day trading is you are trying to use chart patterns or technical analysis. And what this means is you're trying to look at charts and plot out different patterns on it. You're looking at the momentum at how much volume is trading in a specific thing and you're trying to predict the future. And you know what I say about trying to predict the future? If you're trying to make predictions about where the price of something is going, you're not investing, you're speculating. And traders know this, day traders know that they're speculating. But anyways, the gist of it is this. If you are day trading, and let's say you wanna make $60,000 a year, that's equal to about $5,000 per month. 
What that means is if you had $50,000 to start, you would have to get a 10% monthly return, which means you're not losing anything. You're purely just going up 10%. You're not seeing any drawdowns and your account is up 10% a month. Now, if you do the math and you compound 10% a month for 12 months and you do that for 10 years, you would actually own the entire market. Like you cannot physically compound money that fast. It doesn't work that way. So that's part number one. Part number two is if you want to live off of day trading, you have to withdraw money every month. So what happens is if your account is down one month and you make a withdrawal or make a withdrawal story to provide for your living standards to actually pay the bills, now you're losing money and then taking money out. Like this whole thing just really doesn't make that much sense. And to really pound this point home, I want to cite a study that was done in 2019. The most interesting thing about these day trading programs and these educators is that they have a really nice way of being able to keep their clients or their customers trust in the program because it goes like this, you know, every investment strategy has ups and downs and the greatest investors, the best traders, <laughs> the people who actually win in the end are the people who stick with the system. It's all about sticking with the system. So you listen to your coach, you listen to the trainer, you listen to the book you bought, and it's all about sticking to the system. And only the best traders are the ones who have the fortitude to stick with the system when it's doing really poorly. So essentially what these course providers and these day trading you know, gurus do is they build a system that can never lose you enough money that you get down to zero. They use risk management things like only putting one to 5% of your money on a trade or using stop losses. And what this does is it puts you in a place where you're never losing that much. And every couple weeks you are winning quite a bit. They pull you in with this lie where you have to be the one who sticks with the program in order for this to work out in the end. And that's why people get this overconfidence. They get this feeling like if I just stick with it, it'll end up playing out. But a guy like me who's been in it realizes that you stick with it for long enough and you end up with less of a return than if you had just bought an index fund. If you had just invested in the S&P 500, you would have ended up way more, like you would have ended up way ahead, right? So why are you investing all of this time, investing all of this money, investing all these resources, spending time in front of your computer when you could have just taken that money, placed it in an index fund and earned way more in the end. So to pound this point home, I wanna cite a study at a research paper that was done in 2019, which is, which is pretty funny. Now, what this paper says is it looked at the performance of individual day traders in the Brazilian equity market. And now you might be saying, Josh, that's Brazil. That has nothing to do with America. What if I did this in America? Well, no, you're completely wrong because the more efficient the market is, the harder it is to make money. So Brazil is actually giving traders the benefit of the doubt. It's a less efficient market. It should be easier to make money. Based on trading records from 2012 to 2017, they conclude that day trading is almost uniformly unprofitable. And here's the abstract. We show that it is virtually impossible for individuals to compete with high frequency trading firms and day trade for a living. We observe that all individuals who began to day trade between 2013 and 2015 in the Brazilian equities market, which is the third largest in the world, it's no small market, Brazil's pretty large, and who persisted for at least 300 days, 97% of them lost money and only 0.4% earned more than putting your money in a savings account. So that's crazy. And the last thing, which is hilarious, the top individual, the best person in the survey, only earned $310 per day, but they did it with a standard deviation of $2,600. So what that means is the daily variance in what their account was doing was absolutely massive, and they only ended up with a very small fraction of that. So all of this to say, so much of day trading, those individuals that you know had success comes down to luck. It comes down to being in the top 1%. And even if you are, the fluctuation, the level of volatility you experience isn't something anybody is capable of living with. So why do we believe this? Why do we feel as if trading is this thing we can do and make a living from? First of all, advertising. The media tells us 
that this is possible. And you know, it's funny, you can look, you know, Google E-Trade advertisements, they're hilarious. They essentially show these stories of young people who are kind of dumb and stupid, and eventually it pans to them on a yacht with a Lamborghini and all these things because they started with E-Trade, they started to trade stocks. These lies that are shown to you by the financial media are telling you all about how wealthy you could become by trading. At the end of the day, it's just a scheme for them to collect commissions because the more active you are, the more money the brokers make. So anyways, guys, this is my take on day trading. You know me, my message is there is no shortcuts. You know, if there is anything that screams, I want to get rich without any sacrifice, responsibility, without any patience, it's becoming a day trader and thinking you can make a living from that. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like videos like this and you want to keep learning, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications for more videos just like this one every single week. Until next time.